In this video, we're going to determine the limit of a composite function using the composite function theorem. It says evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 half for cosine inverse of this inside function. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that when we plug in a half, whatever we get here on this inside function, that cosine inverse is actually, uh, that this part is part of cosine inverse's domain. Basically that cosine inverse is continuous at that point. So we plug in 1 half, we get cosine inverse of root 2 times a half uh, squared minus root 2 over 4. This would be cosine inverse of root 2. When I square that, that's 1 fourth, so it's root 2 over 4 minus root 2 over 4. So I end up with cosine inverse of 0. So what is cosine inverse at 0? Well, if we think about it, that's really asking us for an angle of some sort. If we did the cosine on both sides, we'd have cosine of theta equal cosine of cosine inverse of zero. That's the way I like to think about it. I'm going to take the cosine of each side and go back to just cosine theta equal to zero. When is cosine equal to zero? I know cosine is equal to zero at pi over two. So theta is going to equal pi over 2.